how to connect Printify to Shopify. Hello and welcome to this tutorial on how to connect Printify to Shopify and how to use Printify. If you're running an online store and looking for a way to streamline your fulfillment process, Printify might be the solution for you. In this tutorial, we'll guide you through the process of connecting your Printify account to your Shopify store and showing you how to use Printify to create custom products that you can sell in your store. Whether you're new to Printify or just looking to optimize your workflow, we've got you covered. We'll cover everything from creating your Printify account to selecting products, designing your custom products, and fulfilling orders. By the end of this tutorial, you'll have all the tools and knowledge you need to start selling unique, high-quality products in your Shopify store. Now let us begin. The first thing we're going to do is we're going to connect our Shopify store with Printify. Now to do that, we're going to look over here on the left side and you're going to look for the app section over here and click on add apps. Now over here, this will show us all the top rated and featured apps that people are currently using in Shopify. As you can see right now, Printify isn't part of the list that we are seeing. So what we're going to do is we're going to click on Shopify app store over here below. And this will redirect us to the section called the apps.shopify where all the different apps created for Shopify would be located at. So what we're going to do next is we're going to click on the search bar over here on the top and search for Printify. After that, we're going to see this option over here, Printify Print On Demand. We're simply going to select this. And we're going to click on Add App over here. After that, it's going to redirect us to this page where it's going to ask us to install this app. We're going to click on Install App. And after that, we're going to click on Printify over here on the left side. And it will show us this page over here. Now, what we're going to do is simply go log in or sign up into our Printify account. Or we can simply click on our Sign In with Google. And just like that, our Printify is connected with Shopify. Now, what we're going to do next is we're going to click on Open Full Site over here on the top right. And this will redirect us to Shopify.com. Now, what we're going to do next is we're going to click on My Store over here on the top right. And this is where we will be able to manage and create all of our products that we are going to sell into our Shopify store over here. Now, as you can see right now, we have no products on our product list on our Shopify. So what we're going to do is we're going to create a product in Shopify so that you can see how we can integrate Shopify with Printify. Now, as you can see right now, we have no products. So what we're going to do is we're going to check out all the different products that we can create. Now to see this, we're going to hover over the catalog option over here, and we would be able to see all the different options that we could create our products from. Right here, we can see that we can create products from men's clothing, which is t-shirts, hoodies, sweatshirts, and many more. Same with women's clothing and kids' clothing. We can also create accessories such as face masks, phone cases, bags, socks, underwears, or we could also create home and living types of products such as mugs, bottles, tumblers, canvas, posters, and many more. Now, you could see over here on the leftmost side, we can see that we can check out the featured products, the bestseller products, the new arrivals, eco-friendly, AOP clothing, assembled in the USA products, print providers, brands, bought discounts, and my favorites. Now, what we're going to check out is the best sellers so that we can see which products are selling the most and we could go along with the trend so that we could also have more sales. Now, as you can see right now, the most best sellers is a t-shirt, a hooded sweatshirt, another t-shirt, and a sweatshirt over here. Now, you can simply choose any design or product that you would like to design. So we're going to go with a hooded sweatshirt over here. And over here, we will be able to see different information about this specific sweatshirt that we are going to create a product out of. Over here, we can see that it is a classic fit. It is a medium heavy fabric. Uh, we can also see the composition like 50% cotton and 50% polyester. You can also see different images over here on the left side so that you could see how it would look like on different angles. Now scrolling down, we can see all the print providers that we have. The top one is the Swift Pod over here. 
you could see how much it would cost and like the shipping fee and the available sizes and the colors over here it's currently it has 22 different colors the rest is 13 8 and this one also has 36 and you can choose any of this option for now we're going to go with the top one we're going to click on start designing over here and this will redirect us to the editing page of printify now to add your design you can simply upload from your device add a custom text add an image from shutterstock dropbox or google drive you could also have high professional designers on fiverr and you can also see here a, a print file requirement so make sure you follow this requirement over here you could also go to your library if you already have a pre-uploaded image. Just like over here, you could re-upload them once again on other products so that it would save you time. You could also click on my templates and this is where you would be able to see templates. But right now, we don't have any templates. And over here on graphics, you would be able to see different elements that you could use for your design. You could combine different elements to create unique designs just for you. Now, I suggest that you don't use this graphic creators over here. I suggest that you should use Canva application to create your design because you would have more freedom to fully customize your design and create very unique outputs for your product. Now, I'm going to upload the graphic that I have created in Canva. And as you can see, this is our very small design that we have created. I'm going to enlarge it a bit so that it can be seen much more easily just like that. It's a very small information that I created in Canva. And as you can see here on the right side, you can see information about our specific PNG. As you can see right now, it is currently in low resolution, but when we send this to our production, they will increase our quality over here. Now you could add more designs by clicking on this option over here and you would be able to add additional designs into your hoodie. Now I'm going to look at the back side over here and I'm going to upload another design from my library this time. I'm going to upload this one. And I'm going to enlarge it once again, just like that. And we're going to put it in the middle. And now, as you can see, we have our front design and back design over here. After doing this, we're simply going to click on save product and we would be redirected on this page over here. And as you can see here, the first thing we can see are the different mockups for our product. As you can see here, we have a model that poses for our product over here. You could also have a male model and you could also see it in this setting over here. And you would have more context over here also. Now as we scroll down, you could also see that the image color right now is color white because we didn't add. Now over here, you could add description for your product. You could change your title, for example, coffee, themed, hoodie, just like that. And then you could add your description. You could add size table to the description. You could add tags like men's clothing, hoodies, women's clothing, D BTG, regular fit, unisex. You could add more by clicking on this section over here and then typing in your tag. We could add variants. Right now, we have a lot of Variants like small, medium, large, Excel, and the different size. We could simply click on select all over here. You could edit the profit. You could edit the profit margin over here. Now after that, we're going to publish our product. As you can see here, only the link variants will be published, which is this variance over here. We could edit our variant visibility. We could sync it up product details, just like that. Now after that, we're going to click on publish over here on the bottom right. And just like that, our product is currently publishing. So we're going to wait for it for a bit. And just like that, our product is currently published. So we're going to go back to our Shopify store and we're going to reload. And as you can see, the product that we created in Printify is now appearing in the product section of our Shopify. And you could check it out by clicking on this option over here. And we are also able to edit the information about our product over here, the same thing just like what we saw earlier. Now we're going to check it out on our store. We're going to go to our online store over here. And then we're going to click on these three dots and then click on preview. And just like that, our product is now appearing on our Shopify store. Also, when we click this, we would be able to see this different mockups that we have selected earlier. We could open the specific mockup just like this and you could zoom out and zoom in. And you would be able to buy it or add to your cart. And that's it guys. Hope you enjoyed the video. Thanks for watching.